In this video, I'm gonna be revealing the exact process that I used to take a crappy Shopify store, barely making any sales, to a Shopify store that makes me $3,000 a day predictably. I'm gonna be sharing the exact process that I used in total transparency from A to C to get this result. These are gonna be valuable strategies you can implement if you run a Shopify store yourself, if you're thinking of getting into the space, or if you run an e-commerce marketing agency so you can do this for your clients. And at the end, I'm gonna be sharing with you a time-sensitive email that generates one to 2K a day with this strategy. So buckle up, let's get right into it. Foss and Foss is a little story time that is crucial to this video. I run a pretty large e-commerce marketing agency at this point. So one day, one of our biggest clients who has been with us for close to two years approached me with a problem. They had this brand that they really struggled to make work. And they asked me if my team and I could do something about it. I looked at the brand and obviously it wasn't getting any sales, but I did see potential. And so what I decided to do in this case is not take them as a client, but actually buy the brand from them. So I put some cash down, I bought the brand and got to work. Now to give you a bit of context, when I bought the brand, it was making around 3K per month just purely organically from existing customers, but really was going nowhere. We took the next few months to prepare the strategy, the ads, the funnel that I'm about to walk you through, the email I'm gonna be sharing with you at the end. We prepared all this and then last month we launched. And so we can see the first few days were pretty slow as ads were getting approved. And then we can see it starts picking up to around 3K per day and ends up making around 60,000 euros, which is about 70,000 US dollars. And here are the six key things that I did that allowed me to grow to that point in just a few days. The first thing is the offer. What are we actually pushing to customers? Customers. Now, most e-com brands don't have an ads problem or a funnel problem. They have an offer problem. Their offer is just not good enough. They either have too many products or they just have a terrible average order value with terrible profit margins. When I bought this brand, they had four products, which isn't that many, right? But they were driving traffic to the collection of these products. So in the collection, they had these four products individually that you could purchase or they had the pack, which included all four products. Here's the first thing that I do for my clients and for my Shopify stores. I create an offer that has a high average order value and that is either an impulse buy or reduces a lot of complexity for consumers. What do I mean by that? For example, bundling products together and making it a pack that they can use as a morning routine, right? So maybe they have four products and these are the only products they use for their skincare routine. When you decrease complexity for customers, the perceived value of that product increases. And then the first thing when it comes to increasing the average order value, bundling products together means that you can charge more for those products. So not only are you decreasing complexity, but you can charge more. And that is exactly what I did for the brand. However, I did not use the existing pack with the four products. I realized that two products in that pack were pretty low profit margin and people didn't really go crazy for them. So I focused on the best sellers what people really loved and made a two product pack that I sold for 149 euros. This meant higher profit margin margins when you factor in shipping and handling, decreased complexity for the customers so the perceived value of that pack goes up. And also one of the massive benefits of this is that all the budget goes to one single thing. And like most e-com owners that stress out their marketing budget into a billion different products, or you know they just drive all the traffic to a collection page, which isn't really one product, I put all the budget for cold audiences for new customers to this one single offer. And that brings me to the second key. The second key to this growth that you can use is a high converting funnel. I feel like most e-com founders and most e-com brands and even digital marketers don't really give much thought to the funnel before they start running ads and before they go straight to market. First thing that I do with my team as well is I make sure we have a funnel that can convert. And that starts with having a very, very solid front end of the funnel. So that brings me to the third vital key. But before we get into the fourth key, if you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you just smash the like button, helps a ton with the algorithm. Really appreciate it. With that being said, let's get back into the video. The third key is leading with a valuable content offer. If you look at what most e-com founders and e-com stores do, they tell people who've never heard of them, look at this incredible product and buy my product. When you take that approach, you need to understand that you're only gonna capture the 3% who are in buying mode. The 97% of people who are scrolling through Instagram and Facebook, they are either problem aware, so they understand that they have a problem that maybe your product could solve, but they're not gonna stop on their tracks when you show them that product, and also the people who are not problem aware, right? They don't even know they have the problem. And what I can tell you with full certainty is that these people are not gonna click on your ad. But here's what I did differently. And so what you need to understand is that Facebook and Instagram are native platforms. People are not there to see ads, right? They're either there to be entertained or to be educated or to be both. So what I created was a video sales letter. What it is is a video that provides value on a certain topic or a certain problem related to the topic or problem that your product solves. And so at the end of that video, when we've entertained them and educated them on the problem, we sell them our products. This is a strategy that I've only seen being used in the info product space, but that has worked tremendously well. But instead of talking about it and having you imagine it, let me actually draw it out for you and show you how it works. All right, so the VSL funnel for e-commerce, my copyrighted system. I haven't actually copyrighted it, but um, this is it. Let's, uh, I'm gonna walk you through it. It's, it's actually pretty simple. It's probably a bit more simple than you probably thought at first. So 
we've got our ad okay now when it comes to ad i could make a, i could make a whole video on this but when it comes to your ad ideally you want to go for long form copy okay why because we're not pitching a product you know like most uh, e-com brands hey buy this get 50% off, right? Uh, best leggings in the world. Uh, no, we're actually telling a bit of a story, right? So we've got a hook, we tell a bit of a story and then we sell the click, right? To our valuable content offer, okay? And here you can have a little video if you want, right? You can have a still image which works tremendously well as well. Um, anything that doesn't look like an ad, especially because we're not selling products straight out of the bat, right? And that is one of the greatest strengths of this funnel, the fact that we're not going straight for the sale of a product. And so people have their guards down because they don't think that it's an ad, right? So they don't just scroll past it. They think that maybe it's a, a post by a friend or a family member and they stop and read the ad. And before they notice that it's an ad, they're hooked, okay? So this, I mean, it, I'm, I'm terrible at drawing, so bear with me, but these are creatives, okay? Examples of creatives. And this is me telling you that ideally you want to go for long form copy. Now, long form copy doesn't, it doesn't have to be a whole, you know, four paragraph essay, right? Three paragraphs do the job, maybe between 12 lines, right? Even, you know, that's a pretty good as size uh, for an ad copy, okay? Of, for, for this uh, specific funnel. Now, the next step that we take them to is the sign up page. So on the sign up page, you've got the title of this valuable content offer maybe a little video of what they can expect inside. You don't have to, okay? And just a sign up, straight sign up box, okay? So they can opt in for um, for this little freebie piece of information by putting in their email, okay? And then you've got a button that takes them to the video sales letter page, okay? So this is our sign up page. This is our video sales letter page. And within this video sales letter page, we've got the video. If you're not doing a video, you could have a, a little freebie, right? You could maybe have a free guide instead of the video, okay? You would take them straight to the product page after they download the free guide, okay? But if you have a video, you take them to the video sales letter page and this video does the selling. I'll talk about uh, how we structure this video in the next step, but this video does uh, the selling for us at the very end, okay? And when we do the selling, the call to action is for them to click on the button and the button takes them to the Shopify, WooCommerce, you know, ideally Shopify, but it takes them to the product page, okay? So here on the product page is a pretty simple product page. Maybe, uh, uh, again, um, a title that hooks them in that's related to what we pitched here, okay? And an add to cart button, uh, button. maybe a few uh, testimonials, money back guarantees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that is the product page, okay? And from, from the product page, money, okay? You could maybe have another step that's a downsell, right? So maybe with their cream, they get um, something else for, you know, 50% off, right? But I typically just go, uh, like to go straight for the sale, especially because my email marketing is going to do all those um, upsells and downsells later down the line once they become a customer of ours. So that's pretty much it. That is the VSO uh, funnel for you. That is a, a really clear break, a breakdown, hopefully. And uh, with that being said, let's get into the next step. The fourth key is how do we structure this content offer? So it doesn't always have to be a video. In fact, for a lot of you, especially if you're working with a client, I found that it's a bit harder to get them to do a video, especially if you're overseas, especially if they're not really good on camera. And don't get me wrong, they don't have to be on camera. In fact, you don't have to have a human on camera. It could literally be one of those uh, drawing explainer videos that I'm sure maybe you've seen on YouTube. Those don't convert as high, but I've still seen them work. Anyways, since for this story I used the video, here's how I structured the video. It depends on the price of the offer. Obviously, the higher the price, the longer the video should probably be. If you're selling something for a thousand bucks on that video, the video may be anywhere from 30 to even 60 minutes. But really, if you're selling anything below 500 bucks or even below 200, which is this case, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes does the job. In fact, you really don't wanna do longer than that, especially if your audience is a young audience. In terms of percentages, the first 10%, so maybe one to three minutes is dedicated for an intro and to build authority. Why should anyone really listen to this person or this topic? 70% is value. So here you basically deliver what you pitched. If it's, for example, the three simple step formula that Navy SEALs used to pass out in a minute, right? Then you deliver on that value. And then the final 20% is the sale. So here you tie all the problems and solutions that you gave in your value to the product that you've created. And that's a really fun bit and a really important bit because here's where people are gonna convert. So now onto the fifth key, revealing a killer email strategy that makes one to 2K per day. 
pretty much making 40 to even 50% of the total revenue every single day. How does this even happen? Well, you see, with this strategy, email is really where the money is. The problem with most brands going for the sales straight out the bat is that if someone clicks on the ad and they go on your website, the only thing you can really get from them is a pixel fire, right? So you can retarget them later down the line. And even that is not super great because of iOS 14 and the fact that Facebook cannot match every single person with a Facebook profile. So while retargeting is definitely useful and we do it for our clients and for this brand as well, the great thing about this strategy, and this applies even if you do it with a video sales letter or, if, or, or a free guide, for example, or an ebook, is that they put in their email to get that piece of value that you're offering for free. And so when they put their email in, you can get in front of them in their inbox. Now I'm gonna jump on my computer and give you a little snippet of how powerful and the percentage of the revenue that email can actually generate. So here on screen, we can see inside the Clavio for uh, this e-com uh, store. Clavio is my email marketing software of choice. Uh, they're incredible. I, uh, I always vouch for them. Um, however, the only problem is, as you can see on screen, it says dollars. That's actually euros. Um, for whatever reason, it's super hard to change the currency. Well, you actually have to reach out to their team, but I just know this whole uh, figures are in euros and you can see We've got up to eight emails in this series. And even the, the very last email, we've got uh, close to, you know, over a thousand um, euros in purchases, uh, bringing it to around 16,000 for this month. So quite a large percentage of the total amount, um, which is pretty cool. And, and it's the beauty of this funnel, the fact that even marketing can carry a lot of the purchases. Yes, you've got your retargeting on Facebook and your ads, right? But uh, email marketing can carry a lot of the purchases. And by the way, this is just for this email series, right? Uh, if we then consider the abandoned card a series and all that stuff, then that brings it uh, closer to even 30, 40, 50%. So that is that for Clavio, an incredible, incredible uh, tool, especially when you've built this type of funnel. And the great thing about email generating this percentage is that we can actually not have to be super profitable with our cold ad campaigns, which they are, and here's a little screenshot of that, but we can spend more than our competitors on advertising because we've got email on the back end making us a lot of money. And the sixth key is the e-commerce marketing agency model. I wouldn't have been able to buy this brand and create my own brands if, if I hadn't garnered the knowledge over the past few months and years on e-commerce growth, if I hadn't created a stellar agency team to help me with all these aspects of e-commerce growth, and if I didn't have the capital to invest into brands and ads and product development. And so that's why if you're a subscriber of my channel, you know how passionate I am about the e-commerce marketing agency model, because you pretty much don't need any capital to get started. You garner all these e-com skills by working with other e-com brands you garner a lot of connections. Like for example, the connection that I had to buy this brand, you create a stellar agency team that helps you with e-com growth so you can then start your e-com brands later down the line when you're making 30, 40, 50, 100K per month with your agency. And also because it gives you the capital to be able to invest into your own e-com brands. And so that is why I always say from someone who started off with an e-com brand and definitely wasn't the right decision, first start by building an e-com agency, take that to 50, 100K per month, which is doable. I've done it, many of my students have done it too. And then to continue to a seven figure a month business on top of your existing e-com clients, build your own e-com brands. All right, so that is a wrap for this video. If you've enjoyed it, go ahead and smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps out a ton with the algorithm. And if you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel and you wanna see where I take this e-com brand and the other e-com brands I'm launching as well as my e-com agency, go ahead and do that right now. And with that being said, hope everything's gone well in your journey and I'll see you in the next one, peace.